welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do like a little sit down chill video um, because it is currently the start of the Easter holidays which is really really scary because that means that we've literally got two weeks off school and then we've got like a few weeks in school and then GCSEs start which is really scary but um anyway all of you requested like I do a kind of how I'm planning my revision drawing Easter video kind of thing and um, so I just thought that's what I would do today so I'm just going to be basically talking about like GCSEs and revision and what you can be doing over Easter and stuff like that I've got a lot of videos coming over Easter but if you do want anything in specific then make sure to leave a comment down below um and yeah i'm just gonna start talking about my easter revision so first of all what i have done is printed off these may and june like calendar tracker planner things basically these may june planners and what i've done is written in all of my exams so i've got all of my exams in may here and then i've got all of my exams in june on here and i've just stuck that up just to know what i'm doing so over easter i am going to be mainly concentrating on everything that comes like first so the first two weeks of may that is going to be like my main focus of revision i am hoping to maybe do some of this um, in june but at the end of the day we've got a week in may to revise so i am going to be concentrating on more of the may like things like this and then it probably do a little bit of the june stuff but mainly focusing on my first exams so in terms of like planning revision stuff at first i was just gonna randomly um like revise and stuff and um just like whenever i felt like it but i realized i needed to do like a really good plan and my biology teacher actually suggested something really um good i thought the other day i thought it was really clever and basically what she said was if you think about it our exams will either start at 9 15 or one o'clock so we need to be revising around 9 15 and around one o'clock because at the end of the day that is where our brains need to be working the best we can't just sit an exam at 12 o'clock at night when some of us might be up revising we have to sit an exam either at 9 15 or one o'clock so that is when we need to train our brains to be working the best that they can be so if you revise for two weeks um around like 9 15 and then one o'clock then you will obviously train your brain to work the most efficiently at then points in the day so personally what i've done is just kind of Followed my school timetable, um, which is a really good thing to do. Just think of it as you're working from home and follow your school timetable. Obviously, if there's certain subjects that you don't really want to revise as much, then put other subjects in. So I'm not actually going to share with you my like proper Easter revision timetable because I feel like some people might copy it if they want to be like do the same as me. But at the end of the day, everybody is different. Everybody's got strengths and weaknesses, and I will be revising more of certain subjects than others because I'm stronger in some subjects than the others, and I want to get certain grades and some subjects than the others so I'm not going to be sharing with you my um like revision planner but I am going to be doing like daily vlogs on like what I'm revising and stuff I am also going to be taking a few days off here and there for instance I'm going to London um well today when you're watching this video um hopefully if it goes up in time and I'm also taking the Monday off and then I've got like a party um I'm singing one day this week so I'm not like going to be revising like 24 7 i'm literally going to be keeping it realistic because at the end of the day i don't want to drain myself but i also want to make sure i get enough revision done um so that is why i have kind of just put together some planners on my website if you do want to check them out i'll leave them in the description box below but my suggestion for you would just to be write a to-do list of everything that you think is most important so i wrote like a list of all of these subjects and the topics in them that i want to study obviously because these are my first exams and i've literally just done my day from like um nine o'clock until like five o'clock obviously taking breaks in between so i'm planning on doing like an hour's revision or 50 minutes revision and then taking a five minute break taking like 20 minutes or something for lunch um if you are going to be doing like an hour's revision i would suggest you do like an hour's revision then a five ten minute break and then an hour's revision five ten minute break just like get up go downstairs get a glass of like water or something because if you think about it in school you walk between lessons and stuff so it's kind of just like recreating that but at home because you do want to train your brain like i said to be working the most efficiently around 9 15 and 1 p.m because obviously that is when our exams will be um 
so that's kind of just what I'm doing for Easter revision and um, I hope that has helped you kind of figure out what you want to do again try and revise around 9 15 um, obviously the longest exam we have um, is English Lit which is 2015 so try and revise in not massive chunks but make sure you are kind of just keeping focus between them times like 9 15 1 o'clock um, but also take breaks and study in small chunks so you'll remember stuff um, and that's basically just what I'm doing for Easter revision so I'm going to talk a bit about like grades and stuff and exam stress just kind of like answering questions I've been getting like in general so a lot of people ask me what my target grades are and I could sit here and tell you all what my target grades are but at the end of the day I know what grades I want to get in certain subjects I'm not saying I'm going to get a grade 9 and everything because I can hold my hands up and say I will not get a grade 9 and everything trust me you can't be clever at everything I'm not saying I'm clever like I'll be lucky to get one grade nine I really hope that I do obviously like we've just got a lot of our mock results back and I did a lot better in those mock results than I did in the November mocks so hopefully I will do like better in like GCSEs and stuff and um, but at the end of the day I just want to get the grades that I get if I get like a grade five then obviously it's a pass so I'll be happy and if I get like a grade seven or eight obviously I'll be really happy because they're like good grades I'm not saying a grade five isn't a good grade and um, I'm just saying like I will be happy with whatever I get whether that be a pass or whether that be like a really high grade um because I know how much work and effort I've put in and I like can't do any more than I've done so there's no point like stressing about exams and results and everything like that the exam might be really easy and then the grade boundaries will be really high or the exam might be really hard and the grade boundaries will be really low so we can't predict what's going to happen the top tip that i would give is just try and relax because honestly if you go to an exam relaxed you will just do so much better than if you're stressing out about it um, some tips for over Easter, don't go to bed at like 2am in the morning, which is what I'm so guilty for doing. Um, I'm going to try and get in early night, every single night, and hopefully just get into a routine of going to bed early and waking up early. Um, so definitely try and get to bed earlier. Drink a lot of water, because it's really good for you, and I know everybody says it, and I'm so guilty of not drinking enough water. But I'm definitely going to be trying to drink a lot more water. Don't stress out about revision. Say if you miss, say if you like you've planned to to revision at say nine o'clock in the morning, but then you sleep in until ten. Don't ruin your day by like thinking, oh, there's no point of like starting now. I've already missed my like revision schedule. Just start from when you wake up. Like don't beat yourself up about it. At the end of the day, it's just one day, and you might need that extra time sleeping. Obviously, like it will be good to stick to your revision timetable, but don't beat yourself up over it and let it ruin your day. Try and get back on track prioritize the subjects you want to do well in and i'm not saying revise only your favorite subjects i'm saying say if you know that you want to do something at a level revise that more than you revise something else so i know for myself i will never get a good grade in spanish now i will probably hopefully pass it but i know it's kind of like impossible for me to get like a grade eight or nine or even a six or a seven to be honest because it's just really hard and i just really don't know the vocab and know the language um so obviously like i will revise a bit of spanish but i'm not going to spend loads of time on it because at the end of the day i could be pushing my other grades up higher in other subjects say from like sixes and sevens to like eights sevens eights and nines um instead of taking my grade like my spanish from like a four and a five to like a six um, I'd rather focus on a lot more subjects than um, I will need for, like for Spanish so say for instance you're not good at history and um, obviously like if you want to take that at A level then make sure you're revising that a lot but if you don't want anything to do with history again make sure you're focusing on your other subjects and making sure you can get the best possible grades in those subjects I don't want this to come across as like I'm trying to say don't care about certain subjects I'm just trying to say focus on what you want to do at a level but also don't neglect any subjects make sure you revise all your subjects at least once also a really good idea is if you don't know how to do your revision literally get your school timetable out and say if you do maths quarter past nine till five past ten which is what i do then do maths quarter past nine till five past ten and then whatever you do like 
English five past ten till five to eleven and then take a break like five to eleven till quarter past eleven that's literally my school timetable but just follow your school timetable if you don't know what to revise and you don't know how to structure your revision obviously like say if you do art and you've already finished your art exam you've got no art to do anymore then fill that in with a subject that you're struggling on maybe maths and English because obviously you have to pass them but yeah basically don't neglect any subjects don't stress out about revision too much get to bed earlier drink lots of water don't worry about target grades because at the end of the day target grades don't really matter in my opinion like i know what my target grade is in everything and it's the same in everything but i also know what i am capable of in every single subject so that is just what i'm aiming for my own target grades but yeah, I hope you all have a really good productive Easter. I'm sorry this video was like a bit of a rant, but I think everything I've said should help you in some way or another. Again, if you do have any specific videos you want to see, then leave a comment below. And yeah, good luck with all your revision. If there's any way that I can help you at all, then make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and I will try my best to reply to any DMs. Obviously, I do get really busy, so I'm sorry if I don't reply. But I do try and reply to quite a lot of them. Um... But yeah, I hope you all have a productive Easter. I hope this video has helped you in some way or another, even if it's just one thing you take away. I hope it's helped you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.